Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Pelt. Poor beasts. Revelio. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Goblin. 
Merlin and poacher interests align. Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. One foot in front of the next and quiet as can be. Quieter than you. <gasps> Merlin, you think they were guarding the Minister for Magic himself? What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Repairer. Revelio. Dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Yes. A more hushed approach is not for once. Don't know what Victor was thinking, striking a bargain with him. Petrangus Totalus. Revelio. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade... Who's Who says crime doesn't pay? Well, I'm practically swimming in galleons.
Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Revelio. Pepodian from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Alohomora. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will Rebellion. only last a few seconds. Let's make them count. Arrest them. Let me out, son. Damn you! Let me out, son. Let me out, son. Find you with great, darling. The 
Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do.
Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I'm fascinated by ghosts and um, food. And I was interested in learning more about the castle and the surrounding area. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the open, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear, good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Ertgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. 
They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is you an honor, speak sir. speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the Enchanted Door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. looking at us. <laughs> 